Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Satisfactory, where we try to satisfy you. Yeah, that came off really weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just heading over here to our old plant here, and um, if you guys missed out last time we upgraded our uh, production uh, by, uh, yeah, you can see it's doing really well. We upgraded it down by the, I, I guess I'm calling it the ocean front. I mean, it looks more of a lake, and then everything else in the game looks like ponds in size of water. But, you know, I'm, I'm giving it the idea as like a coastal lake kind of idea, or ocean, uh, for fun. So, oh yeah, I'm going over... Where is that anyways? Ah, oh, over here. So over here, we make the gunpowder. Uh, black powder, I believe it calls. Yeah, so I just wanted to grab a bunch of this. I can even store a bunch of it. There you go. Awesome. So I wanted to do some research on lock. I want to do a few things, of course, obviously today, but um, one of the things I wanted to do was unlock the ability to, um, honestly, uh, that gun. I, I want to unlock that damn gun. <laughs> there, there, there's not much more to say besides I want to unlock that gun. It looks interesting. I, you know, it's cool to know that there's some kind of, you know, more powerful rifle, or I don't know if it's like automatic, or I don't know how it works, honestly. But it, it looks badass, and I like to unlock it. So um, we're gonna check that out. So sulfur, and there you go. So you need five of the heavy uh, module ones. You needed a hundred circuit boards, which I handcrafted some. All it is is plastic and the the copper foil stuff. So pretty simple there, and a hundred steel pipes. So. There we go. That'll take about three minutes or so. Uh, over here, we, you know, like for the future of unlocking things, we need to start uh, working on auto crafting. And um, two of these take computers, and uh, three of them take computers. There you go. And uh, even the modular, heavy modular frames are not as uh, common or needed yet, oddly enough. But it looks like a big chunk of it is related to these computers. And these computers are pretty uh, expensive. You need wire c cable I guess or whatever you need plastic you need screws and then you need the circuit boards and it takes 10 freaking circuit boards and so it's it's all about those circuit boards which is not a hard recipe like I said but it is plastic and it's copper sheet so you gotta ship those somewhere over here so you can start working on those so that's something I would like to actually work on this episode get those up and running maybe get other things working as well uh, but I think that would be a, a good start to uh, start with let's go ahead actually yeah we're gonna go this way anyway so let's go and grab more of these basically I'm keeping tier 3 conveyor belts uh, that's what I'm using for everything now I don't see a need to do the slower ones especially since in this game they make it easier like some other games out there they might like make it like three components and five components or you need a component of the old one or something like that but because it's simple of just one material and it's just one material and it's you know a common one that we we produce in large over here obviously um it's not a big deal for me oh crap i forgot we just grabbed all that black powder and i did not uh deposit so uh, already i'm failing you guys actually you'll probably still ignore it for now so yeah, we're gonna go over here, and I would like to bring this uh, this copper. Maybe we could do something over here. Actually, there's a bit of a site here. You know, I've actually never even bothered doing anything with this. It actually makes sense if we join this up now. You know what? I think I oh, this is on a lower platform though. Um, so you're gonna have to rise it. Yeah, I need more uh, concrete. So let me go get concrete, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay, look at that. We're done the research on the rifle. So we'll go to sulfur and we'll go ahead and we'll do this one. Oh, you need 200 rubber. Um, do, do, do. I have rubber over here. My plastic's not organized, as you saw there. Uh, sulfur, there you go. And start research. Oh! Oh, that was an instant one. That means we can just go right on to the. I didn't realize that would be instant. And then, uh, oh, let's do that too. Might as well get that done. Another inventory slot. Who could say no to inventory slots? There you go. And start research. That's three minutes. Okay. So I didn't realize the rifle would be that fast. It's like I wasn't ready for the rifle yet. Uh, so you got everything except screws and pipes. Was that pipes? I guess I got rid of some of my pipes or something. Or maybe I just used them all. Sorry. I know one of these have my pipes, but... This is why I wish labels... Oh, yeah, I needed screws. Um, I wish there was label kind of... Not labels even, but... I don't know. Way to easily see it. If you go into, like, deconstruction, then you can see what's in it. But 
That one's a little harder to follow. Like my, my eyes are like, yeah, whatever. So here's the rifle. 30 hammers it takes. That's a hell of a rifle. There you go. And that can go into a uh, little inventory slot we have open right there right now. And then you need to make the ammo clips, which is probably going to take, uh, yet yeah, those, uh, beacon. Wait, what? They have five rounds, I guess. Oh my goodness. So they require a V. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this supposed to be like tracer rounds or something? Uh, isn't it me or is that just trollish right there? Oh, that just seems like that's a trollish thing to me. <laughs> like, fine. We two could play at this. Oh, we ran out of something. The the copper wire. I, I wanted to get 25 of those made. So, there you go. Get rid of the old amount. There you go. Okay. And 25. Okay. And then we needed... I know we need black powder for that. I didn't look at what else we needed here. There it is. Um, you need more tubes and, oh, you need, oh, that's rubber. Okay. So rubber. Okay. Oh, and all that concrete I put my inventory. I don't have much of this stuff on me, so we'll just do what we can right now. There you go. Now it's a cartridge, uh, cartridge, cartridge. I can't say it right, uh, but that so that should have multiple rounds per one anyway. So it shouldn't be too bad, I would assume. But who knows for sure? Um, okay, so look at pipes are low. Okay, let's throw you in there. Let's throw the extra in there. Let's switch this weapon. Okay, so you you, you hold it like it's a sexual thing here. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's reload it. Oh, that is, that is actually pretty damn sick. Okay, let me go find a victim. Um, give me a mi minute. Okay, I guess we're not taking this easy. What is that? Oh, there's one of those dudes. Yeah, we're, we definitely didn't pick an easy place. I also noticed one downside is, um, I guess each one is around. So, um, yeah, uh, it's not as much as I thought it would be. Yeah, why does this look like a trap? <laughs> this is incredible. I think they do less damage, but they do way, way more, uh, like, you can shoot more and do more damage per second, right, with it? So, I think that's the key. Is this a regular one of these guys? Yeah, let's shoot one of these guys. So, one shot, two shots, three, four. So they seem like, I mean, you'd have to, you know, do more judge, like testing and stuff. But to me, it seems like they do basically half the damage of the other gun. But at the same time, it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. That being said, the other gun is, uh, you know, like you can hold just as much ammo, right? Per inventory slot. And so I guess there's some benefits and downsides, but this is a pretty, uh, nice little area here. I'm just thinking, can I get up here much? Oh, look at this. There's definitely something in there. I don't have uh, any of that with me right now, no. It's like one of those things we'll just have to visit eventually. Come back. I wonder if I can climb this mushroom stuff because they're all over here. So I'm thinking like there must be a, a, a beginner mushroom to climb, right? To, to work on this. There you go. No, we wouldn't be able to make it on that way. I don't see. There's cl there's definitely probably a starting spot you're supposed to go, and then you can kind of climb your way there. But I don't really see it around here. Anyways, I was just testing it. Maybe we can waste up the rest. Is that one of the badder ones? Yeah, this is one of those bad ones. I think. Let's get the upper ground here and try it on him.
Yeah, oh, and that's another thing. Uh, yeah, like I said, more DPS, blah, 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 but at the same time, you can hold more at the same time because the other one, you have to do two bolts, and so you have to reload and aim, and this one is kind of better at even missing slightly, so. But that's it. We only have two shots left, so we kind of use them all up just in that little uh, testing, but it's cool. One thing I don't know is its range. Um, do I have one more victim to test the range out? My interest is... Uh, can this, does this have better range? You know how we had to arc a lot with the other one? Can I arc less with this or no? There's one up there, I think. No. Also velocity, it would be a big, uh, you know, uh, velocity would be a big thing too. Oh, there's one up there. Uh, can I see him from here? Oh yeah, that actually is hitting him. Okay, that's incredible. <laughs> He's like, yeah, screw that. that. That edge is dangerous. I'm not coming over there anymore. Anyways, oh, here he is again. Yeah. You can see the feedback anyways. He just died. That is incredible. Yeah, this rifle is th that alone. So basically, more DPS per second, I would say, easily. Um, better range, no arcing. So velocity is faster, obviously. Also, uh, less arcing on the actual projectile. And then, of course, uh, because you can hold 10 rounds at a time, even if it does half the damage, that's like doing five shots of the other guy. I don't know if that's actually accurate, like it might be slightly more, slightly less, but that seems roughly what it is. So in the end, I would say this is a very awesome and powerful, powerful gun. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. Uh, but anyways, uh, just got my new weapon. Okay, so uh, anyways, let's go back to uh, working on uh, bringing that stuff over. So we wanted to make uh, the circuits, right? So that was our objective here. And then we got way, way, way. Uh, so what was the circuits again? Because I forgot the one component. Plastic, of course, plastic. So plastic is obviously being used a lot. Like plastic is becoming a number one needed product uh, for a lot of things. So I think at that point what we should do is, I love this gun though. <laughs> oh, it's just fun to run around. I think uh, what we should do is start bringing the plastic over here somewhere. Now, these are going to become a problem. I might have to just burn these up because once I start using plastic, those are going to fill up. So um, There's other things I can do with it and I should do with it, but I, I think the best way that I found dealing with it at this time, which is not a lot, it's, it's probably a crappy way of dealing with it, honestly, is just the awesome sink. The awesome sink seems to be just a, a decent way to just get rid of it and not worry about it. So um, that's what I'm recommending anyways. Just awesome sink it out of here and then you don't have to. You know, there's this one. I don't know what that is. I need the splitter a lot. So let's go and um, logistics and splitter, conveyor. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it already is on eight. Okay, eight. Oh, yeah, it's not the splitter I need most of the time. It's actually the merger, and that's where I already derped up. Oh, there's stuff in. Oh, interesting. I didn't know it do it did that. I didn't. I guess because it's you know it's uh huh. Anyways. Okay, and we're going to have to power this, obviously. There you go. I love how fast it goes. Yeah, so we're up to, you know, it takes like three, 400,000 now, I guess. Um, somebody could do the math. I'm too lazy right now. Uh, that might even be closer to like, oh, no, 250 left. Yeah, so what is that, 400? I don't know. Anyways, it takes quite a bit, but we have 78 tickets, and I should spend them eventually, but whatever. I like using it as a sink right now for stuff like that, so. 
There's just more. I think this is just this stuff, yeah. Okay. Wow, plastic is this slow. Holy crap. <laughs> I have no way to... I mean, I can kick his ass with this, but... You gotta, you gotta admit, that's kind of hilarious. It's got this new pretty gun and it's like, no ammo. Okay, so yeah, I think what we'll do is we want to move this along. I think it's getting to the point where we need to be putting things on the lines. I, I, I like the what we've been doing, keeping things neat. So I think we need to continue this kind of relationship. Yep, I said everything that might have made that weird sounding. So I'm thinking what we can do is we can just bring it over here somewhere. And start, uh, yeah, dragging it there. And then somewhere over here, I guess we can do this. Okay. Yeah, so what we can do here is we can bring this over here. And uh, I think it doesn't matter right now as long as it goes over here. And then this is where we're gonna feed it up here. And then, yeah, and feed it over here. Yeah, I think that'll work. I just wanna make sure I get the... Oh yeah, so don't forget, you gotta do this. This is the, the downside of this. You always gotta do this part, like, line it up. But, uh, yeah. Go. Looks so funny, the color. And the nice thing of, you know, like the big part of lining these up is now when I want to do the, the rubber, it's just as easy to deal with, right? So um, I think that's a, the key kind of thing on there. And if I want to add more, upgrade it more, you know, not so bad. So I think that's where it plays a kind of an importance on that. Oop, lagging a little there. Sorry. Just trying to keep it in somewhat ordered. Somewhere around here will work. Oh, I didn't do the height right. There we go. Okay, so... Uh, it's up to you how you want to do this. I mean, you don't want to be bulldozing this right through everything, of course. Uh, uh, so it might be smart to, like, bring it over here somewhere and then uh, move it from there. So it doesn't have to be, you know, right on the... Right on a straight coordinal direction kind of thing or whatever. <laughs> it, it, can, it can go sideways and things like this. My friend Electro's trying to teach me that with trains he's like you know like all over time i wanted my trains to always be so damn straight it's like eh, this game helps that you know not being as straight but then again that being said you know you, you kind of destroy that as well when it comes to uh doing the platform because then things get very even out but i think i've been doing a good job of messing around okay so we were thinking over here right I'm always trying to figure out exactly uh, where we were going, but yeah, I think we were thinking over here somewhere, so. I guess I can just put this in here and just hope that'll fit. I'm sure it'll fit. Ah, oh, once again, I failed at this part. <laughs> there we go. Did I? Oh, over the side, just make sure. Okay. And this is the nice thing of carrying the plastic all around like this, because now you can, you know, if I have other projects, I can carry it around and say, oh, I need it for this or that or whatever. And now you have the ability to kind of carry it around whenever you need it. And that that's kind of where, you know, a big plus of this comes out of it. Uh, having these, like, you know, main conduits, basically. So I was thinking we clean up this other area but I don't know where I'm going now so I think it's over here to be honest but this was this factory so even though I went this far look how far we still have to go over here 
I have to uh, put some foundation and everything else in this area. Okay, let me go ahead and clean this up with foundation and I'll keep moving this around over here and then we'll go from there. <laughs> so it's, uh, I, I checked it out. It has hit scan, which basically means it has unlimited uh, distance. Uh, the idea of hit scan, I believe, is uh, basically even if you were to like do this and you were running sideways, as long as you're your your you know your arrow uh your marker is pointed on the the enemy it'll hit them uh so it's kind of like it, you know they say infinite speed but i think technically the way it's coded is it just it just teleports to them in a sense it doesn't even it does not even coded in a sense that it teleports to them and if someone were to magically run in front of it in 0 0.00001 seconds they would still not get hit because it kind of just instantly hits them all basically so that's that's what's really cool about uh, uh, this rifle anyway so I had to get more concrete because we put it away when we were doing the uh, research stuff and I forgot about that so I was like oh no I'm out of concrete and uh, and then there was a mob standing there so I thought oh I should use it and of course, I've accidentally used a few rounds before that. I was just like, oh, I like this gun, and then shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, clearly this is why us Canadians aren't supposed to have guns. Uh, okay, I am just working on this area. I didn't realize I brought this all lower like this. It's kind of lame, but uh, whatever. It's like it's kind of one of those things. Like, what, what do you, do, what are you to do, right? So I'll leave it. I'll leave it alone for now. If I want to fix it up, I can down the road. But uh, I'm just working more on this area here anyway. So that's all I care. Just giving us a, a new work area for our plastic stuff, and then we can work on that over here. So I still have to bring that over here, obviously, which I don't even know where it is. It's way over there, so I got a bit of work to do, and then we'll start set setting that up. Okay, so I think we're good here. I got this uh, plastic all the way here. Uh, I guess we could just build the constructor and go from there. I mean, we're going to have to do some more stuff, obviously, but, uh, sorry, the assembler, but, uh, I think we might as well just give it a start now. So we're going to turn this into circuit factory. You know, now I think about it, maybe I should bring, bring this back. Like I was thinking, Hey, I'll just keep it here, but you know what? We're probably going to want to use all this space for this eventually anyway. So even if we're not doing main pipe, you know, main lines for stuff, we should probably still attempt to, uh, you know, bring things over in a manner okay so yeah let's stretch this down right to the end I guess I'm just thinking that way you know if that's the beginning of the line anyways might as well you know I think this will make it all the way it's hard to say this is why we test looks like it does a pretty good job okay There you go. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, so we can start with the assembler here. And, uh, yeah, we can put it wherever you want. It doesn't matter. And, uh, yeah, then you want to do the splitter here. I don't know what's up there right now. I think I did the merge. I don't know. I remember I did a shortcut, and I, I screwed up with it, and I was just like, I'm too lazy. I'm not going to fix it. And I, I prefer the menu, honestly. I know it just takes a little more effort, but... It works for me. So we're going to go ahead and bring this down here. Oh, you're a jerk. That's fine. We'll take it to that one. And then we just got to bring this guy over here, which I'll probably go ahead. You know, it's kind of... Oh, it does go that way. I didn't realize it would do that. I've, I've never tried that because I just assume it would never work right. And uh, for shame, you know, because uh, you never know if you don't try. You know what? I'm thinking I'll do it from here anyways, because I want to uh, make sure I get the size up there. Like, I want to I wanna increase the uh, height of this, so... There you go. There you go. That way I can still get under here or whatever with the old vehicle. Or it doesn't matter, you know. I just prefer it that way. Okay, so that, my friends, uh, should create us what we need for this. And then we can turn this on. And we're making circuit boards. So that's that's circuit boards. <laughs> now, obviously, we're going to have to do a lot more than just circuit boards here. But uh, it is a start. And they, they're pretty slow making. They make 7.5 parts a minute. 
uh, which is not too bad, but it is slow. Now, what we want to do is something bigger, of course, which is going to be these guys here. And, uh, yeah, we were looking at these or the computers. I'll probably do the computers. I feel like these I don't care as much. So, yeah, that is, uh, that's quite interesting. That's, that's pretty expensive. So, it requires 25. So really? 25? Yeah, because it's 2.5. Wow. Yeah, you can see the, you know, the, the issue there. So... Let me do the, because I'm too tired. I think that's three, right? No, 3.3333. Yeah, that's why I thought it was a bit weird in my head. So if you want to keep this up speed-wise, you're going to have to build three of these. Uh, one, two, three. And that'll be a little too many, but that would also keep up to the demand of it, right? So um, this is where, you know, the, you're going to have to change things up. Like, first of all, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this. And then I think what you could do is, um, how many you need for plastic? Sorry, it was really low number, so I'm sure we can easily feed it. 30, okay. So yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, so we want to go like this, and then we're going to want to, this is the downside. Now you're going to want to split this somewhere over here. And this is where things get bad, right? This is what we did at our other thing, the, um... Our, uh, why can't I think of our power station there, the coal power plant, the new one. And that's where I kind of screwed up, honestly. And I shouldn't have ever done that. But obviously I was being a little lazy and I, I kind of am facing the consequences of that now. So do you think that's second up, I think? I think so. So I think this is the way to go, honestly. Oop, there you go. We're doing the first ones. Because then you're not, it's it's not a big deal normally, I think. It's when you get into splitters, I think that's when it becomes a nightmare. And I think that's when you, you got to do, you know, the, the you know, you got to keep things a little more organized, I think, in that. So I think if we can do it through this and then just go like this and just keep going like that on this, I think that's when you're, you're winning. Because that's out of our way. It's tidy. It looks good. You're not fighting with it, you know, you can access things, and I think that's kind of the key there. So, yeah, look how awesome that is. That that works that works flawless in a sense, right? Look how nicer that is than dealing with the crap we were just about to deal with. So, um, and then down here, I think that when it comes to this, you might as well do it the other way, um, but placing them manually, I think. How many do I need? Two copper, 15. You know what? That's 60. I don't think this thing produces even close to 60. I'd have to redo this, I think. I don't think it's enough copper coming in, honestly. So, what are you mining at? You need you're mining at uh, 30. So this produces 30, which is great, and this uses 20. So yeah, that's where it's flying out. And I've noticed when I grab a bunch of these, it's just I don't get it. Like it takes a long time to fill. So I think if I'm gonna do this right, we need to redo this little setup over here too. So I think maybe we'll do that now. Actually, why not? Um, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Production, equipment shop. I've been putting these and leaving them lately just for fun. Um, why not? Now I'm doing two of them, even though, you know, you should be able to upgrade with it, but it doesn't let you, so. Uh, I'm missing something. Oh, steel tubes here. You know what? I think we might have steel tubes right over here. <laughs> I like how my factory is pretty much like having a nap now. 500, still a lot, but I wonder what the hell is like manufacturing right now. Cause like that is quite high, but I feel like I'm not running that much right now. I wish there was more like a detailed power grid and stuff. Like I could tell like what the top users are, things like that. Um, there's a lot of web apps and stuff. They might be able to tell you like there's one I've been using interactive map and I don't use it for cheating. I turn off all the settings. I just use it to see like my layout of my base to get an understanding of my bearings better. It even has like a, a fog map and stuff like that. But uh, I did see something like um, statistics. So it tells you like how many things you have in storage, how much power. So it says I have a certain amount of power, power currently being used. 
Um, it says coal 630 a minute being used, I guess. Um, and this is whenever I loaded it at last when it said it was using about 16, 619. It even shows your production of numbers. But yeah, it doesn't show you what your power is being used per thing. So that's kind of on the lame side. I wonder if that's a feature that they would be willing to add eventually. But I like that kind of interactiveness. Like it would just be really cool. Um, okay, so let's... Okay, so we... Did we upgrade that? I forget now if we upgraded that. That looks not... I don't know. No, that's the MK1. I'm not familiar with the MK2 style. I think it has more shielding up the top here. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so now, of course, this runs at 60, meaning we can get two of these, and then we can run... Um, so those do 20, so you can run three of these, which means we can do 30 copper things a minute which is still very little like I mean when you're looking at this right it can do 15 30 60 um, yeah so it this will this will only speed it by twice so what we need to do is overclock this I think as well so I'll probably do that and then we'll just really do a number on this so we're gonna tear all this down hopefully my inventory can hold some of this I know it's gonna hurt a bit because some of this is not gonna stack well okay so oh crap my inventory is already full so let's go ahead and make a container we do a container on the side where it probably won't get in the way or actually maybe even up here honestly okay so we're gonna have to put this in here we put the little extras in here I'm sure I got some extras of this stuff here um, concrete's one of those ones you can definitely always dump in there okay and then honestly I was thinking I'll just dump my own stuff in here uh, store all and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to empty this container which will require me to well dump it basically so oops there you go oh I have enough room to take this all down man I remember back in the day when I didn't have that much room but you know things are getting awesome being able to hold uh, a lot of items I love it Hopefully I can upgrade it even a few more times. I don't know if that is a thing, but I'm just hoping, you know, I can in the long run. So there you go. And then we'll take back you guys. Okay, so what we're going to do now here is we're going to really increase this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, a couple of smell trees done here. So um, I'm just trying to think how I want to do this. Uh, one two, three, four, five, six. There you go. That'll work. And then, yeah, so you're going to have to, this is when things are going to get a little messy. This is why sometimes it's, it's better to do the whole floating thing in the air as well, because uh, I feel like this is just going to be a hell of a mess trying to split this all up. It's, well, it's probably going to still be a hell of a mess trying to do this, but I'm hoping it'll help a bit. So, uh, logistics, MK3, I, I know I don't need that, but we're just using MK3 basically for everything. Plus it uses the same thing, right? So, um, let's do one, two, up, there you go, one, two, a little higher, but one, two. And this is going to be interesting because it's kind of in the way too, right, with everything there, so. And so these guys, if I recall, run at, uh, there you go, they do 30, 30 ore, so that's running at 120, right? So 30, and then 60, and 90, and 120, but when we overclock, wait, yeah, we don't have enough of these, do we? <laughs> I built six, I need eight, don't I? Uh, I just realized that, I think I need eight of these, there you go. Yeah, so it was like 30, 60, 90, 120. Where's the other 240 coming from? Because this can be overclocked to 240, right? 60. Oh, no. Oh, with this upgraded, it's 60 now. Oh, it was 30. And I'm hoping to overclock it to 120. I know I can get a little more out of that. 120, actually. No, I. that's only four smelters. Okay, never mind. I'm clearly overdoing things. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I actually went way overboard. Sorry, guys. I don't know where my math was coming from there. Or better yet, what math. Okay, so we're going to put this all the way up here. 
And I hate that, how that works, but oh well. <laughs> I think that made it worse looking. Oh boy. Okay. And uh, if you want to be lazy, you can grab that over there. There you go. I'm hoping, I mean, these are all curved and turned, so this will be an interesting mess. I'm hoping it'll work all the way there, but, oh, you just did it for a second. Okay, you know what to do instead? This is a splitter, right? What we should be doing instead is bringing it to the furthest, almost furthest point, and then use it splitter properly, I think. So, um, hmm, you're also seeing the problem there, yeah. I was thinking that, and then I was like, you know what, I think that's still going to be an issue, so. I'm hoping this will fix up a bit, but it might not. Okay, that might work. Yeah, this whole angle thing is kind of pathetic, and, uh, if it works freaking awesome but uh, yeah I kind of butchered this idea up <laughs> the thing is it'll work and that's what makes this amazing I love this game okay so are you already all set right yeah 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 so let's get the power over here let's we'll put you over here let's upgrade you I don't know if it upgraded that oh yeah yeah yeah. so you have to remember the these these things block your ability to click it right so you might think oh why can't I click it and it's it's because of those silly guys okay so that's going good and then yeah so these do uh, a time they do 30 uh, output right so it's the same thing 120 right so now what we need to do is we're gonna do our constructor here and our constructors can only do a certain amount, obviously. So they can do 20. So you need uh, six of these, am I right? So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So six. That's probably where I was getting my math for, you know, six of them. And I was like, eh. yeah, I'm a noob. I'm a willing to admit. Okay, so yeah, two each kind of thing. Okay, let's do this. I'm actually thinking, yeah, let's extend this. No need to be right on the edge of life here. Okay, that should help a bit. So, um, constructor. I kind of want to bring one like, okay, you can sit right here kind of in front of that one. If that makes sense. And then the other ones can be, you know, they can move around. So you can go here and you can have your other second one over here. And then you can have this over here. Oh yeah, I need one more by the way. And then you can have this one over here. I don't know if those are lined up. No, I screwed up one point. Okay, so there's your three there, and then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we got them. So what you do with this, I would assume, is you go over here, and that one is done, and then this one's done. And then this one is done. And then this one's done. And then what you want to do is... I don't know if this is a splitter or merger, so... Um, let's just make sure it's a splitter. Eight. I think it is a splitter, actually. Eight. So we're going to put... Wait, we screwed up one of these, didn't we? You to that. You to that. You to... What the... Oh no, the ratios are off on these. They do 20, 30, no, 30 per time. I thought you guys were 15 or something. Okay, what did I screw? Oh, wait, I screwed up again, didn't I? Did I screw up my math? 120, and these are 15 each, right? Wait, what did I do wrong then? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 
There's four. And they do 20. Oh, never mind. The ratios are so broken. Damn it. That's the problem when you're dealing with weird ratios. Okay. It's not weird, but I, I get it now. This is the easier fix then. Um, I wish I did this differently before, but I think I can still fix it. Uh, I might need more space. This is why they say you need uh, space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these guys like this, hopefully, here. And then I'm going to put these two just like that in the middle of these guys, I'm hoping. And then I'm hoping you'll fit through this tighter spot. Yeah. Okay. This is the problem, though. See? <laughs> Yeah, these are going to have to be moved because this is going to be annoying. So all three of those are connected there now. And then what we're going to do here is do another one. And then, um, so what the problem here is that the ratios are different, right? So there's 30 of these coming out, but this only accepts... I better click this because I don't know why my brain is not wrapping over this. 10. No, I was reading the wrong thing. 20. And these output... Oh, 30. Okay. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay. So if I merge them all together, I'm going to take these all down now. I've wasted all your time. <laughs> so we're going to take all these down. And so what we're doing is we're merging it all together, right? And we're going to merge it even again. Because our belts can handle this easily, right, these days? Then we're just going to go ahead and then bring them out to all these guys. So... We're going to go production here, and uh, do you want to, do I want to go crazy and split it out now, or split it out after? I think I want to split it now. So you're going to come out, and you're going to come into our splitter. This will be our first splitter. And so you got two, right? But then you're going to have to expand that. And then, yeah. I have to put the factories down so I can line them up, but yeah, that should work. So, constructor, okay. I swear I'm not trying to drive you guys insane. I'm pretty sure I've driven myself more insane too. I'm trying to not, like, I'm trying to have it off a bit, like, I think this one might be... I think this one might be off one by one. That's off by two now. <laughs> Let's just move this one and hope for I can get the same thing, but slightly over one more, I think. There you go. Oh, that's close enough. Okay. Sorry, guys. It's how I work. It's how my, my broken brain works. Okay, so there you go. We got these guys, and then these guys. There we go. That should work. Okay. <laughs> so the idea is this this will get split. We'll ignore the middle. So you got three of them you have to do, right? So um, you're going to split this basically twice in a sense because uh, that's just how life works. Now, I could go like this, actually, and I can do all three like that. So that makes life awesome as well. And I can't tell if it's on the... I think it is. There you go. And then we can do the same thing over here. I guess. Sometimes the lineups don't work. You've seen it before. So I'm just like, sometimes I just don't know if it's trying to line to a side. Because I think sometimes it tries to grid with something like not nearby, but like completely a different location. Oh, I screwed this one up, didn't I? Yeah. Sorry, the back one has to be this one. Then the side one can be this one. And then the front one can be this one. There we go. And then we ignore that one. So you, you, and you. There we go. Much prettier, way better laid out after derping up too many times. Okay, so we need to set these all to copper sheets now sheets, copper sheets, copper sheets, and copper sheets. Awesome. And then we're just going to go ahead and there you go. 
give us more room. And then, yeah, these all output uh, 120 at a time. So now you want to merge all these into. <laughs> I need a break. This was a lot of effort just to get this done today. Um, but this is that's that's my brain that I derped up on that, and it is what it is, right? So uh, let's go over here and get some more concrete. I might have enough, but let's just get it more anyways. Just use what we got in space wise here. Oh, do I have? Was that in there or on me? I think that was on me. Wait, do I have... I might have picked up ingots too, or did I not? There you go. I mean, technically I should just delete those because they just sit around and eventually I literally just do that. But, uh, whatever. Let's do this a little better. There you go. If you don't do this, you can actually see through the ground a bit, and it's actually kind of ugly, so sometimes I find it just better just to go ahead and fix it. Okay, my friends. There you have it. Okay, so we're going to merge all these up now, and... Uh, we're going to be done with this. So, uh, organization, logistics. Oh, we're going to do a merger. Now, a merger can do all three of these, which is the beauty of that. So, we'll do just that, actually. There you go. And then we want to keep the same line, because that's what we're doing here. But, uh, hopefully get it on. There you go. I guess we had actually shifted at one point. There you go. Wait, what? <laughs> I, uh, I ran out. I, did I put extras in here? I can't believe I ran out, though. Oh my goodness, I ran out. I swear, guys, by tomorrow or next week or longer, we'll get this done. I guess I, uh, in Factorio, that's one thing I miss, you know, being able to load up your items, but at the same time, is the, eh. but Factorio is a very different game, scale-wise, so, I mean, the, the robots were kind of a, a must, you know, so, but, uh, I do miss, like, oh, all of a sudden I'm gonna call a bunch of items, you know, it's like, I kind of miss that idea. You know, I noticed the hitbox, I think, on the Conveyor Belt 3 is slightly weirder than the other conveyor belts where I've actually I don't know I must be crazy because I swear I've I've had some issues with that let's use one of the uh, the new ones because we can we can just like top it right up to the the center here for fun there you go and there you have it my friends and now we can Let's get the power poles put here and here and let's power you, power you, and then power you. Did that thing again where sometimes you, oh, no, you can't do that one. You can delete the little power line if you didn't know that. Though we should get you those two connected. You, you, and you. And then one of these need to connect over here somewhere. There it is. And there we have it. So if everything's working good, we should see copper plates all flooding in. So I saw, yeah, I'm just making sure I see it on all three. There you go. What about you guys? I think three are coming through there too. There you go. So now we have lots of copper plates finally. Wait, what? What? What is this troll? LOL. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> in a single player game? That's evil. I'm in single player here and I'm not in multiplayer. Anyways, uh, one, two, three. I guess we'll do the same thing over here, right? And then, uh, oh, sorry. One, two, three. 
Or... You don't have to put them on the same level, I'm thinking, like... They can go up and up and up. I'm actually thinking of just doing these even higher. <laughs> I've been enjoying doing the height stuff, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just do this even higher. Because uh, it does work in my favor. Or I could bring it down. So how many do I need of this? So after doing all this, this is going to be 15, 30, uh, 15, 30, 60. So we're making 120 of these. So yeah, we definitely upped our, our game quite a bit here. Um, or we can just do it on the ground. I think I'll just do it on the ground. I do enjoy that. So... Let's go ahead and deal with uh, logistics, and we're going to do splitter, and so we can have it come in. I guess we can just have it come in like this, and then uh, that might be a little close, because I'm just thinking uh, if I'm going to do this over here. Yeah, so let's do it like that. And then let's get, uh, that'll do that one. Uh, actually, yeah, because you're, you're going to have one, two, and then this third one. Okay, so yeah, I'll just do one and two, I guess. And this will do the other ones here. There you go. So yeah, this can do this one. This one can do this one. This one will fill that one in. This one will go over here. And this one will fill that one. And there you go. And now we just have to hook up this fun thing over here. Oh, actually, we don't even have... Uh, oh, we have this from before. Ancient Residue. Let's see. Uh, let's bring this out, like, over here. I guess I'm really uh, starting to put these around, huh? And there you have it, my friends. All that for uh, these guys. And it was so worth it, and I enjoyed doing it. Even though we kind of derped up for the longest time. So let's get this powered up, and then we can call it an episode. And then you guys can laugh saying, wow, that was horrible. <laughs> um, I've been just enjoying doing these. It's like, okay, this one can feed all of them from way over here. There you go. Wait, did that one not get powered up, or is it not? Oh, these aren't configured, I think. Um, so what are we making? Circuit boards. All this was for circuit boards. There you go. Wow, now you can't say we're not making circuit boards fast enough. Actually, the only thing now would be plastic is probably their, our lowest item. And plastic is so easy to ramp up production. I just would overclock the crap of it. But not only that, what the you know, the system we have now it can easily be ramped up. So that that's fine there. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's, you know, reward ourselves by storing all this. I was like, what is this? Uh, something you've seen a hundred times, Kane? Uh, organization. There you go. There we have it. And then uh, what I might do here is... Uh, <laughs> uh, where is it? I need a merger. Oh, no, actually. Yeah, I still need a merger because there's two slots. I can use both slots input, but I'm still going to have to merge uh, in a bit. So, yeah. So let's go like this, I guess. Or actually, do you want to do that or do you want to do like that? I know it's silly, but I was just thinking, oh, I could do this. And then I can do this. Because right, that's the output, right? Oh, you suck. The belt is too steep. That's probably my biggest nightmare is the belt is too steep. I can actually push these a lot closer anyway, so. There we go. And then we do the same thing over here. 
Okay, let's try that again. Oops, sorry. You up there, you down there. Ha! Huh. Apparently this belt actually got in its way. I'm surprised by that. Usually it's smarter than that. I guess it really cannot find a way to cope with that. Huh. That's a bit weird. I felt like that was actually a decent uh, distance, but I guess it just was not playing fair there. This is why they say spread things out. Spread it out. Do, 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 do. Please don't tell me that's back. Oh, my God. <laughs> like I told you guys, this is one of those days that... What the? It's the right way, but it was... Oh, I know what I did now. There you go. I took from the uh, emerging input kind of side. There you go. It's one of those days. There you go. You know, in the end, we, we did really well as in we got a really good setup here. I might have derped a little too hard on a few steps here, but uh, you know what? We got circuit boards going, and that's that's what we were trying to do here today. Um, obviously, I need to work on our plastics and, you know, uh, not plastics, our, um, well, actually, I'm going to have to work on plastics anyways, but we're going to want to work on our computers. So what basically that means is I need to get wires over here. I need to get uh, screws over there. So I think I'll do that off camera, um, just getting them over in that area. And then what I think I'll do is uh, next episode, we'll, we'll build our uh, computer, uh, you know, crafting station there. Uh, which is going to use the big, huge manufacturer thing for the first time. So that's going to be awesome. And then what I think we'll do is we'll also increase our oil production. Uh, see what we can do over there. Because plastic is being used quite heavily for all this. So I'd like to uh, ramp up the production of oil, obviously. Um, so we can deal with that. And I can overclock all my oil, too, uh, at the other side. Because, well, we can afford it. So anyways... We got lots of work to do in the future, but I think it'll be great, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.